Pope Francis met this morning with the bishops of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church. The Holy Father invited Christians to dedicate October to praying for peace and reconciliation in Ukraine. He also underlined that the war in Ukraine can end, but only through more prayer and conversion. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more. This Marian month of October, rosary should be dedicated towards peace and reconciliation in Ukraine. With these words, Pope Francis addressed the more than 50 Ukrainian Greek Catholic bishops who have come together from around the globe. Over the next few days, they will hold their Synod of Hope, as they called it, here in Rome. The Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church is one of several Christian churches in a war-torn country. The Synod is also held in this city because the bishops are in full communion with Rome. That is why they also participated in a private audience today with Pope Francis. The Holy Father wanted to be able to address and listen to each of them. In an earlier statement, the head of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, Major Archbishop Svatoslav Shevchuk, explained that he knew the Pope would listen, and listen well he did. After the bishops shared about their difficulties in their country, Pope Francis expressed his closeness to the suffering people. He compared their situation with the state of martyrdom, he said he felt the pain of feeling helpless against the war, which is, and I quote, a thing of the devil who only wants to destroy. The meeting between the bishops and Pope Francis is remarkable because of two things. First, the Holy See, first it shows where the Holy See stands regarding its relations with Ukraine and Russia. Second, it helps us understand also the concept of synodality a little bit better. This is especially interesting as the Holy See is in the last preparations of the Synod on Synodality starting in a few weeks. But first let us briefly speak about Russia and Ukraine. Because recently the Holy Father was criticized for the way he addressed young Russians who were not able to go to World Youth Day. Ukrainian representatives suggested that Pope Francis was endorsing the idea of Russian imperialism. Today, he once again rejected such accusations. He clarified that he was only praising Russian culture. While he sees it necessary to maintain a dialogue with Russia in general, he also made it clear today that the war has to end immediately. Regarding the Synod, on his flight back from Mongolia this week, Pope Francis stressed that the concept of synodality and the institution of the Synod was not his idea, but has existed in Eastern Catholic churches for centuries. The establishment of the Vatican's office for the Synod of Bishops back in 1965, he said, was Pope St. Paul VI's response to what he perceived as a loss of the synodal dimension in the Western Church. Now, the bishops of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church are gathering for their synod, and Pope Francis defined for his synod on synodality, which he wants primarily to be a gathering where bishops and non-bishops come together to listen to each other and to the Holy Spirit. The synod, Pope Francis said on his flight back from Mongolia, is about how to live synodality as a Christian without falling into ideology. Prayer is at the heart of the process, and that without the spiritual aspect, it is politics. It is, as Pope Francis said, parliamentarism, and the Synod is not a parliament. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN, News Nightly.